Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at uh, the purified Zubat here in Go Battle League. And we see, and again in the beginning, a nice hard counter team. But hey, it's fine. We play the Little Cup here, the Jungle Little Cup. We have the Vigoroth as a say swap you see here already. I didn't give my Vigoroth a second move, which is uh, like not really necessary anyway here as we... Currently, I don't know, like, there's not a lot of need for giving up 75k starters to get a second move that is may not, most of the time not even usable, so I would never second move the Vigoroth for this cup. Even against the Sunset is key, you could say, hmm, you kind of want Brick Break, but Brick Break wouldn't do anything here for you. We can go for the Body Slam, we get the shield, and we can just double shield farm down now. Everything totally fine. I actually did not go to share the first move either, so that's even better. We get the move through, and I think I can stall farm down before he even gets to another move. I hope. Yep. So or, there is literally no need for the brick break in those situations, and it's literally not really needed in general. So, oh no. For me, this is a totally fine Vigoroth moveset, and we see the Zubat here now against this thing, and we see the Skrull. And while we got hard count in the first game, we're gonna hard count down my opponent in the second game as we can go to our Dano, and my opponent can just surrender. Dano is a little bit risky in this current meta as we have a lot of charm users, and here there is a team that. Oh, it's actually not the team that I thought it is, but like it's it's Litleo. Litleo is also now. Not the best thing for the Zubat in the lead. What you really want to do with this team here is you want to go, if you don't have a Cotney in the lead or a Charmiza in the lead, you usually swap out into the Vigoros, trying to bait out the Charmiza. You should be able to get a shield against the Cotney, and then you still have your Zubat against them. You can also use a goal, but if you want Zubat, it's just way more funny. Um, and against that thing, you can just come to the hard wallet. You can go for a Poison Fan to destroy Cottonies easily. And yeah, it's, it's a very simple team. You see the Skarup here against us. It's gonna come down to the wire still. I don't know if we can win this game. But yeah, I had a great success with this team. This team is a team that I used last time this game, well, uh, the, this cup was around as well. So like, it's nothing completely new for me. And it always worked out pretty well. Yeah, actually, let go. I was like, I, I, I was considering just shielding there. I think it might've been the better play, but... Um, it is fine, we can go for the Poison Fang, we can farm all the way down. We have to shield here now. Can we get to the return in time against the Lit Leo? We are going for the Poison Fang. How much is this gonna do? We're gonna see it now. It's gonna put him into red health. We can just completely destroy it. And um, yeah, good thing there. We see the Dano, and Dano is okay for us we can swap out we have a normal dana in the back as well so uh, yeah it, it should be fine we see the Douglet there uh, coming in and we can get a shield there we don't do a sh are we actually gonna shield this i shouldn't have shield this i guess we can go for just for some more body slam spams and we should be fine we can go for another one and this gonna get no shield, we can actually realign the Pokemon and we see the Skarmie. Skarmie is a little bit um, of a problem because of us not really having the best answers. Like Vigoroth can go toe to toe as well without Brick Break as well, but like the rest is kind of difficult. And we don't have a shield anymore and this thing, thing gonna destroy us with the one Crunch shield already. And we I should have went for the Poison Fang there, but it didn't really matter anyway, I think. I don't think I would have been able to get to two body stamps against this thing, or maybe? I don't know, maybe I threw the game by not going for the Poison Fang. And um, we see the Ducklet here in the lead with a Water Gun. And we see an Aerial Ace coming through. Very interesting moveset. It's like usually not the moveset yet you want to run. Usually you run something like the. Um, what's it called? The. Ring Attack plus the Bubble Beam. That's like the usual moveset. So uh, seeing Water Gun plus Aerial Ace is very weird. So you saw also my video yesterday, most likely for Pikachu Libra, where I also used a Ducklet in there and also like Water Gun and Brave Bird and stuff like this. Um, but we can see the Cottony, we got the Cottony out of here, we can KO this, and now we have our Dano, which can resist those moves. I'm actually gonna shield it up here because Aerial Ace would hurt, and I guess I don't have Bubble Beam. And we can see the Stunfist coming in, this is gonna be still tough to win. And this gonna 
see like okay we get the defense drop which might be good there can we actually still win this game but my opponent makes a great play here going for the muddy water which is usually not the thing that you want to run on this pokemon but like this he got to the rock side just with a one hp in a dream otherwise he would have lost if he didn't go for the muddy water because muddy water is only i think four quick moves while the other one is five quick moves so nice played by my opponent i didn't expect them to even run muddy water so that was crazy and won him the game well played there we see this groupie Actually, like, I started really bad with the team again. I was like, okay, no, this team not gonna work. And I think then I had, like, uh, eight win streak or something at the end. So, oopsie. Yeah, end worked out a little bit better than expected. Had great success at the end with it. I just, I think I started with three losses into it. And then I needy only went positive, which was funny. And we see the Skarmory again. We can just farm all the way down, I think, with the day now. So, um, we can just farm all the way. And we can realign our Pokemon. We see the Stunfisk skin. Stunfisk is a big, like a little bit of a problem here. It's not really a, the biggest problem though. But we have to catch a move here, which did not work. So I think we're kind of screwed here. I think this also might be one of the early losses. And they go into this group here. We can nuke them with a return, but I guess he can just farm me down and he wins the game anyway. But the return, of course, KOs the Skurupi. I really like the Zubat though, like Zubat is a fun Pokemon to use, Zubat has access to uh, the quick attack as a quick move, the poison fang to bait and the return to destroy, but of course not against every team. Was this a team that I thought of? Yeah, this is the team that I thought of. This was also one of the teams that I showcased on my top teams video. And here I go for a risky play I think. I go for, oh never mind, that was a different, oh, I should have went for the Bully Sam. Uh, that was definitely a risky play because it was risky or stupid I was there. Um, holy hell, go actually went for the body slim because my opponent lagged or like I didn't get the damage on, I don't know. But we can go for the poison fang here, maybe we can get a shield or get him low enough. We can get the last shield, I have to shield this up, I think it's gonna be a cottony in the back and this is gonna be a little bit tough. Can we swap in? We can swap in, he's already a little bit low and we see the cottony actually still allows us to get to the move, which I didn't expect. Put him low enough that we can now go for the... Poison Fang KOing this cotton here. Can we still win this game? It's gonna come down to the wire. It's gonna be a draw. That's kind of annoying, but it's funny though. That was a cool game. But yeah, against Double Charm. Double Charm is so good in the current cup. It's 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 annoying. We have a Charm is in the lead, and we see the Garcham coming in here. I was like, holy hell. Go for the Poison Fang. Resisted garbage move against Garcham and he destroys it. And <laughs> it's so funny sometimes to see like stuff like this here. Where like the Garcham literally gets obliterated in like four Dragon Breath. Like, holy hell. What's this Garb? It's so funny sometimes to see like random spicier stuff. We see the Altaria here lets us to get to like two moves here, which is very nice. And like this, a they throw as well, I can just let go. And I think the Zubat gonna be able to sweep through this opponent here. My opponent goes into the Cotney, which is actually really good for me, because I can just go for the Poison Fang, which should still not KO. And I should be able to just farm all the way down. And I'm gonna be able to farm all the way down. We can shield here, it's fine, we have two shields left. And it's still gonna be a little bit closer though. I kinda have to try to get to the return, but I won't be able to get there. I can go for the Poison Fang, how much does this do? Gonna do a little bit and we barely miss out on the win like it literally needed one more quick attack It's so sad another horrible lead here with a swine up My opponent goes into Chinshaw, which is okay for me In Chinshaw, we can just go for body slam spam. I should be able to realign which is cool Even get the extra move and this is only a bubble beam. Why do I shield? I don't know. Okay. I it was here at like 137 and at night, so like I guess I didn't play perfectly here either. But there's also only a bubble being okay, at least I don't shield here. Um better. But definitely some, something that I could play better. I don't know why they my opponent didn't go onto the school rupee first. Is it school rupee? Yeah, it's a school rupee. It didn't really make too much sense to be honest. But we can go for another move there, which is fine. I have to hope that my Dano can do something in the back. We get the last shield, which is nice. Oh, why do I go into my Dano? Can we get the Aqua Tail on us? This doesn't make sense. Yeah, okay, I completely played this game horrible. Holy hell, I didn't even remember this. My opponent can just no KO me there. If I went into my Zubat, took the hits, I would have been able to most likely win this game. But I just didn't. But it's funny. So yeah, I guess um, 
I didn't really play too well in this game either. Which happens, I don't cut those things out, you don't always play perfect. It's actually like crazy what Pokemon we face, Altaria again, kind of horrible, we can go for the body slams there with a vigorous, like all those difficult matchups. But um, actually here we should be able to realign, yeah we're definitely going to be able to realign, now counter damage actually adds up a lot here, I'm just going to try to farm all the way down, but then I saw, okay, my HP goes a little bit low just throw and we can at least realign here which is very important i have to wait out the clock because i swapped out where he didn't and i didn't want to be stuck in this matchup for ages and we see the chancy coming in and i was like oh it's the zen headbutt chancy which is better for me than the pound version because i can just go for the crunches here and it's it's crazy how bulky chancy is for this guy like it's so insane compared to all the other pokemon that literally gets no damage but i guess this is a single move chancy so my opponent doesn't really have a lot of play here against me it doesn't have a lot that he can go for and i expect my opponent actually to swap into the other pokemon soonish the what's it called the cottony but my opponent actually throws here i think he would have been able to win this game maybe if they just swapped out early snipe me i predicted them to swap out there so i went into my super immediately and now i can just farm all the way down like there's not a lot that they can do but i actually go for another move because it makes it just faster i guess yeah they shield but like i can farm down even faster now the chance if they had a move like i mean they had a chance but yeah they actually misplayed it a lot i think it, uh, they threw the last move there, cost them a game, because if they just got a charm onto me while we were just like in the fast move beatdown, I would have been able, like they, they would have been able to KO my Dano and then slide a move on the Chansey for my Zubat, so yeah. Not the best player. We have a Ladybar here, very interesting Pokemon, a little bit bulkier Pokemon as well. But we're gonna be able to win this matchup easily in the two shield scenario. So I'm just gonna go and shield this up. I think he goes for something like Silver Wind. Yeah, Silver Wind, potential boost possibilities there, but we can just go for the body slam and my opponent gonna shield this as well, which is funny. And now we can still get to another one because our Vigoroth actually has okay-ish IVs, which is fine. And we're gonna be able to realign. We have a one shield advantage. We can go into Dano and try to farm this thing down. Still gonna be a little bit tough. He goes for the Icy Wind, which is a little bit annoying. Yeah, I hate Swine Up though. I like I hate this Pokemon so much to play against. It's so annoying. Yeah, they go for the Body Slam, which actually KOs us. We can farm him down. And we're gonna see the Nidoran female in the bag. But we have our Zubat, and Zubat has the possibility there to go for the return. And this return just gonna nuke this shit away. Bye bye, Nidoran. And yeah, I think this might be the last battle. This is something... Oh no, actually we still have some more. This is the latest battle that I played definitely because it's now daylight and I forgot to do one battle yesterday. So, like in the night. So this is now at 12 a.m. my time. Or is it 12? Is, isn't it 12 p.m.? It's so super weird for me because we don't have this time zone thingy here. Like, we don't say like 12 p.m. or 12 a.m. here. For us, it's like... Um, basically you one two twenty four as the numbers on the clock it's not like a.m and p.m which is funny so 12 more in the morning i guess and oh, we actually have a, like yeah i actually went for the move there i said prior where i just denied my opponent's with quick move which really allowed me to win this match pretty easily uh, because I got one extra body slam off, which is very important. But yeah, we have originals and we still can deny moves and sneak moves. I mean, sneak move through is how it's supposed to be, but we denied so many. I just swap here into my Zubat, even though it wasn't necessary. I resist every move with my Dano. This game is over already. My opponent can go for a move. If they go for the Thunderbolt, grab my Zubat, please. They did it. Delicious. And we can just farm it all. Good game there. And we go now into the last game, pretty, pretty sure. Zubat against Cottony, a good lead for us. We can stay in here, my pawn stays in here. They go into the Kakuna now, I remember this game, that was insane that you even faced the Kakuna, like holy hell, what the hell is this even? But we can farm them all the way down after the return hit. 
And they most likely have something good against me in the back still. Okay, Kuna was just like a waste for them. Yep, they're swine up. I'm just gonna go for the debuff. They got an extra move through, which I mean, that's fine. And we can now go into our Vigoroth and look at the damage. Finally, we can beat up this swine up. I hate swine up so much against me. So I'm so happy that we can just beat this thing up. And my opponent, I think, let's just go even. Yep, and we have now the cotton is still in the back. We can just go for some nice poison fang damage there later on with my super and this game actually comes down to the wire still you're gonna see charm still chunks too much that we have a problem later we just go for the poison fang they're gonna shield anyway and they go for the move here and you see my health going down can we actually still win this they can actually go for another move KOing us and now we have a charm user against our dragon type but the dragon breath is too strong. That's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you next episode and have a great rest of your day. Bye!